Alright, hey, hi, and everybody, this is Pika here, and I'm here to present to you Pokemon Randomized Black Part 6. Let's get started. And of course, the recording slows down. Alright, so I did some training today, and we got everyone mostly leveled up to tw level 22. I th also, I find out I find out that um, Yuichi's not going to be able to evolve until he learns Ancient Power, which apparently you need to learn before Swine Up evolves into Pilo Swine, which means until I can get to the Move Tutor, he's not going to be evolved for a while. And for Shizune, she's going to evolve in four more levels, which basically means she's going to evolve like when I'm training her for Bird's Gym. Anyway, but um, but um, Takabe learned a new move, which was um, Spark. I think Yuichi learned a new move as well, which was Mud Bomb. Uh, don't know. She's gonna learn Spark as well. I think Konoha learned Leech Seed, right? Yeah, learn Leech Seed. And I think I, I think Takane learned something too. Like. Scald, which is actually good. Yeah, so he, so she actually, so he actually learned that. I think that's it in terms of. So basically, I think what we're gonna do with this episode is just that we're just gonna battle the gym and kind of just leave it there because I'm like I'm tired and it's like 1:44. It's dark as fuck and. Hopefully people will fucking comment on these videos to see if what com comments what topics I can discuss during these times. Also, that is creepy as fuck. Just Joy has no eyes. It's like Slenderman. All right. Uh, God, why is this thing running so slow? I don't have anything on. Huh. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna buy some super potions. Alright, so I went to challenge rock. That they didn't really do anything. Let's see. I think it was here. Yeah, I had these things. Oh wow, that's all I have. Jeez. Alright, so let's go challenge the gym! Now, I haven't been inside at all during it, so, yeah. <sighs> so what happened last time? Oh yeah, Fruit of Shimeji, it's still here, yeah. Alright, so basically, I took a while to, I took a break, basically, from recording, like, between recording- between finishing, um, Katawa Shoujo and recording this, because my jaw was just in so much pain after his salve frickin' took it. It's over here. An archaeologist with backbone. It's actually kind of sad that Lenora retired. Alright. Wow, whenever I look at the skeleton, I'm fascinated! Welcome, I'm Haas, the assistant director. Since you were kind enough to visit, I'll give you a tour of the museum. We haven't been inside the museum at all yet. This skeleton is of a dragon type Pokemon, more specifically known as Dragonite. A rare Pokemon a rare Pokemon we've s we have not yet seen in Unova, yet rumors say it is speculated to have been seen in in this far off region called Kanto. This is theory that I had an accident while it was flying around the world, and so it became a fossil. That was a bit of improv. There's Arm Armaldo. This rock is amazing! It's a meteorite! It contains some kind of energy from space. Legends, uh, legend says this po this meteorite contains this Pokemon called Deoxys. It, set it is said to have landed in some part of this other region called Hoenn. But, but the Oceanic Museum, I get, I guess, gave this to us, gave this to us because I, because they, they thought it would be more suited to, to be more, to examine more in detail in this museum. 
I'm going off of improv here. Oh, this? It's an ordinary old stone. It was found near the desert, but other than the fact that it's old, it doesn't seem to have any value. We only display it because it's rather pretty to look at. Man, I'm just doing improv here. The Pokemon Gym is just beyond here. At the end of the gym, a very strong and kind gym leader is waiting. By the way, the gym leader, Lenora, happens to be my wife. Alright. The gym leader here studies fossils and ancient artifacts. Well, we seem to move so... S yeah, I'm probably just gonna be... Let's see. What do you have to say? A plant with an unknown script carved into it. A mask that ancient people used to wear at festivals. What is this? What do you have to say? We are Pokemon from around the world. Museums are packed with adventure. Bones that were once carried as weapons by a certain kind of Pokemon. More specifically known as Cubone. Commonly known in Kanto region. This is a skeletal specimen from a Pokemon that flew around the world. Slash Dragonite. It's a fossil of a Pokemon that was protected by a very hard shell. Legend- Rumors speculate this could be our Maldo from the Hoenn region, but- But we don't know yet. Perhaps there- Perhaps there's a Pokemon that came from space along with this meteorite. Hoenn Remake! Confirmed. No. <laughs> Alright, let's get inside the gym. <clears throat> Yo, bitch! What's up? A Pokemon gym leader where, where a leader waits for a challenger at the back of the museum. It has a great as atmosphere, doesn't it? So, I will give this to you. I'm tired. All trainers in this gym use normal type Pokemon. This is just between you and me. Normal type Pokemon are weak against fighting type Pokemon. Around here, fighting type Pokemon show up around Pinwheel Forest. Now I will explain about the gym itself. In this Pokemon gym, if you answer questions hidden in books, you can move forward. For your information, the first book is Nice to Meet You, Pokemon. If you don't know where the book is, please ask anyone. Alright, has Sharon come by here? Not cream Pokemon gym. Nope. <laughs> around that cream gym all the time people call me a bookworm I'll warn you now I am strong because I spent the entire day either reading books or training Pokemon all right so I don't have any talk I don't have any comments on the video yet because I haven't checked but um school kick harder period anyway but um but anyway I just I said I was gonna talk about um, my latest oh shit I forgot to switch my Pokemon out Anyway, I said I was going to be talking about my... about what was going on at Katawa show, just music is loud. Basically... Basically, what's... Crunch? Man, I'm scared of fucking Watchog. Basically, what's going on at Katawa show, like, as of now, is that Rin is basically pushing us away. I guess. This is just to clarify. Because I couldn't... I didn't want to have spend so much time just doing that. Oh my god. I may be a bookworm, but I am not a bug Pokemon. But yeah, Ren's basically pushing us away in order to get her paintings done. Alright. Children's books. Yes. It's a fairy tale about a little boy who met a Pokemon for the first time in his life. He is with a small brown Pokemon. There was a memo between the pages. Pokemon trainers, I am the gym leader Lenora. I have four memos in this library. Each of them has a question. Can you solve the questions and come find me? Now this is the first question. Question, what is the first Pokemon you met in this gym? The hint is, on the bookshelf in the middle row. Now try to find it. I can't do Lenora's voice, it's... It's not that it's bad, it's just that it's hard. Yep, that's it. It describes the biology of Hat Rat. They communicate with each other by a movement of their tails. A Pat Rat raises its tail when it sees an enemy. There's a memo on the back cover. As I thought, that question was easy. Well, this is the second question. Question. Flame burns inside its body and it gives off smoke from its head while it runs. What is this book? The hint is somebody may be reading it. You found a second memo and you're looking for a book? What does the memo say? Flame burns 
inside its body and it gives off smoke from its head while it runs. I'm reading a book about Tepic, but is this book the correct answer? No. Wow, great, that's correct! The book that I'm reading says it gives off flame from its nostrils. When it's not well, it can give off only smoke. It's slightly different from it gives off smoke from its head while it runs. The answer to this memo may not be a living thing. Tee hee! Hmm, <laughs> I see. Oh, did you find the memo and come here to look for this book? What does the memo say? Flame burns inside its body and it gives off smoke from its head while it runs. I mean a book called The Structure of a Locomotive. Is this book the correct answer? Yes. Oh, that is correct. Flame burns inside its body and it gives off smoke from its head while it runs. That's exactly how a locomotive lo looks. Well, I'll let you read this book. But before that, it would be great for my research if we had a Pokemon battle. I've done this puzzle, people. Trust me, it's not that hard. Sato me. Hurtier, hurtier. So this gym is hard to beat. Unless you fucking grind your ass off on it. Alright, but um... Basically... And I can compl but basically, back to what I was saying. I can completely understand Rin's actions. Because it's like, basically... And basically, you know, she's suffering from artist block. You know, and I understand that as well, because I've su cause I suffer from writer's block from time to time. Jesus Christ. And, you know, and it's like you just. God damn it, it lives. Man, this hurtier would have killed him and run hit. I've never known anyone so powerful. My head is empty compared to yours. I'm gonna go heal real quick. Actually, wait a minute. Return a book to a shelf after reading. This is a rule when you read a book. This is the bookshelf for general studies. The structure of a locomotive. Do you want to read this book? This is a book about the, about a locomotive. Flame burns inside its body and it gets off smoke from its head while it runs by using steam power. There was a memo on the back cover. It's impressive you found this place. That's what I expect from a challenger like you. Well, this is the third question. Question, if you heat it up in a pot, it'll be delicious. What is this? The hint is on a bookshelf closer to the entrance than here. A poffin. It describes delicious sweets made by heating berries in a pot. The there are sweets called poffins made from berries in the faraway Sinnoh region, and Pokemon love them! There is a memo on the cover. Did you manage to get here without being tricked by the questions? Now, this is the last question! Question from this bookshelf. Move two backward, move one to the left, move two forward, move one to the right, and move one backward. Now, where is it? The hint is find it by yourself. I think what I have to do is push this. Or this. It's one of these bookshelves. Oh god. I know it's one of these things. Alright, so... Let me read this here. Alright. Alright, two backward, one left, two forward, two, one right, and one backward. Alright. Okay. Two. The battle. Oh, okay. One. All right. So that's two. Dupe. Do. Do. Oh god. <laughs> no, that's not it. Shit. Oh god. Oh, wait. I remember one of these. I know that it's one of these bookshelves, but I don't know where, though. Connect the dots? No. No. God damn it. That's not it either.
Oh god. <sighs> Why am I reading this? Oh god. See, this is the part that gets me. Because I know it's one of these two bookshelves that has to move here. Oh god. Fuck, I need to read this again. Because I'm being too stupid. Okay, I'm gonna need my phone to use this. Basically, I'm not... Did you multiply? Yup. I saw the heat haze just in my corner. Alright. I'm gonna have to copy this down because I'm not good at remembering. At least these directions are complex. At all. There we go. Alright. Two... Back. Alright, two back. One left. Two shit. Two forward. One right and one back. Okay. There. Alright, so. Alright, so this is one, two, dupe, do, do, it all. Okay, I'm being too stupid about this. Uh. Okay, wait a minute, alright. Okay, I'm just gonna start from here. <laughs> At the... No, that's not- WHERE IS IT?! <laughs> okay, let me try from here, I'm sorry. I'm being too stupid. Alright, one, two, okay. Left. Two. There. What the fuck?! What are they asking me here?! <laughs> I'm acting too stupid. <laughs> Bitch, help me. If I can move. Wait, what? Okay. That's something happening. Great, I'm being too stupid here. Lydia. You have three? Fuck a little pup. Wait, I didn't switch out, did I? Nope. Well, Togan is gonna level up again. God damn it. You know, and it's. Uh, anyway. Let's divert from the current situation. My bum! Don't miss. And of course. But anyway. It seems that. But it's like basically. It's like. But it's like basically. Rin is self destructing. Let's just say that. Just to get this. In a, just to get this ability to paint. Like. I'll say this, it's not a good idea, like, cause it's like, cause like, she's so, t I mean, basically she's gonna hurt, like, basically it's like she wants destruction to herself, and I'm like, that's not good. I mean, just because, I mean, I, I, it's like, right, artist block, writer's block, whatever, I understand, but it's like, but you're basically, Doing is just to get some creativity in you, which is not good. Gosh, she's got a team full of little pups. You know, because I mean, 
I mean, even though smoking doesn't seem bad, you know, and I, and I agree, it's, it's actually not that bad. Because I have two parents, because both of my parents smoke, and I've been, and they've been doing it for as long as I can remember. Nice, she's an A. You're getting better. You know, but it's like, but it's like, what else is she going to do? Which is a question. By your, which is a question that some people have probably wondered themselves at some point in their lives. Like, like if you're one of those. Cr oh wow, I lost! But thanks for a great battle. Okay. <sighs> this is the last book. Now read the last book. Oh wait, this was what I was supposed to do. Oh, you fucking. Mm. It describes the biology of Tepic. Flame burns inside its body and it gives off flame from its nostrils. When it's not well, it can only give off smoke. You managed to- God damn it, Hibia. You seem to have wisdom as well as strength. I look forward to our battle. Gym Leader Lenora. Click. There's a switch under the book. Well, that's what I need to do! <laughs> I feel so stupid because here I am clicking everything else that should be it. I literally thought it had to be a I literally thought it had to be a switch. That's the one thing I forget. I remember all the answers to the puzzles, but I forget the one thing that it's not, and it's a switch. Wow, a hidden staircase! It's like Scooby Doo in this shit. All right, I'm gonna go heal real quick. I'm scared because that watch hog of Lenore scares me. Okay. <sighs> but, um, I mean, if you're one of those creative people, you know, I mean, I mean, I'm pretty sure you've had blocks before, but it's like, you can't help it. You just need inspiration. But Lynn... I don't know. I mean, again, there was a- I mean, I basically- Basically, I thought of Lynn's path as the filler path, which is why I'm really... Like... I mean, technically, I'm going in this blind, even though I played her path, like, twice. But, that's, but it's been mostly because I skip half of it. You know, I only I only read read it when something important came up. I never read all the mean all the meaningless details before, so that's why I'm. So I guess this could be considered blind, but I guess it could be considered blind, even though it's not really, because I know what's gonna happen next. All right, let's do this. All right, who do I? S I'm gonna send out Shinichi because so far it seems like he's doing really well. I'm not sure. He's faster than the watch. Look at this, man. I'm scared. I just want to see what's here. Alright. Welcome! The director of the Nat Green Museum and the Nat Green Gym's leader. Nat Green Gym's leader is me, Lenora. Well then, Challenger, I'm going to research how you battle with a Pokemon you've so lovingly raised. Oh, rats! Akari versus Lanora. <laughs> I kid. There's no way I'll be able to do a black woman's voice. I'm sorry. It's it's not. It's because I don't want to offend anybody here. Look at that level 18. You know, and two, I couldn't do it southern because that also be offending. All right, let's see how you. I am faster than this. Sweet. But I'll admit the pilot, the watch hog, really scares me with that retaliate. Now with that move, I'm starting to see what kind of trainer you are. Oh, but yeah, I have nothing. I have nothing much else to say about Rin's path and Katawa Shoujo other than. The stuff I've already said, so I guess it's just a focus on the battle. All right, so Herdier is down. Nice stats, though. Agility. Nah. Yeah, cause I don't think you need to learn. All right. 
Watch Hog. This the Pokemon I'm scared of. Let's see, who do I send out? I do. I would agree to send out Takumi. Let me see here. Let's see. Yeah, definitely Takumi. It's gonna take a. Because Takumi, with Takumi having an agile, well, not, I guess like a diverse mood po move pool, at least right currently. No matter how grim the situation, I'll use my research kills skills to find a winning strategy. I remember that. Okay, first I'm gonna paralyze it. Just get its speed down. I'm surprised I'm faster than the damn thing. I'm gonna sneeze again. <laughs> there we go. Alright, let's see how much damage Spark will do. Ah, uh, that's good, I guess. And that's why. Because first off, it'll lose that hypnosis shit, and then we're fucked. Alright. Takumi is avoiding these attacks, yo! I imagine she's gonna go for a super potion if this doesn't kill it. It lives on 1 HP! And I'm asleep. I actually like that starting this generation, the, the Pokemon's eyes are asleep. The Pokemon's eyes fall asleep, which is cool. Eto. Yeah. I have like three Chestoberries. Alright, I have a feeling she's gonna use the- uh, yep, yeah, I knew she was gonna use the Super Potion. Again, it's a good- it was a good thing that I, um... What am I thinking here? Alright. I'm gonna send out Yuichi for this. Cause I- cause I think Yuichi's gotta do something here. I mean, hell, he's got better defense than Takumi. Let's use Mud Bomb, see how much that would work. Okay, and that lowered its accuracy, which is good! Cause hip- Cause basically, hypno- Cause it likes to use Hypnosis, I'm surprised it hasn't used Retaliate yet. Basically, Hypnosis, I think, has a 60% chance of, of hitting. So with lowering its accuracy, it'll just- It'll make the chance of getting hit- Of falling asleep that- That less great, so that's good. Alright. There's the retaliate. Good job, Yuichi. Man, I remember I would get my yes. I remember I would get my ass beat every by Lenora. Like I think twice before I would beat her. And the watch hog is down, ladies and gentlemen. Good job, Yuichi. My theory about you was correct. You're more than just talented. You're motivated. I salute you. Alright, 2400. Nice. Your fighting style is so enchanting. It is charming. You are a Pokemon trainer worthy of receiving this basic badge. Oh, wait, that's another thing I need to tell. I need people to let me know about. What music can I use for this that's not best wishes? Or Kokoro no Fanfare? Oh, yeah, I don't need this anymore. Akari received the basic badge from Lenora. If you have two badges, trade a Pokemon up to level 30 will obey you. Here, I also want you to have this TM. Retaliate! Only... Man, she used that a lot more times than I remember. Retaliate does a lot more damage if an ally fainted the turn before you use it. If you master the timing, you can defeat even strong opponents. Dear! Oh, Haas. Shit. Dear, come quickly! Team Plasma is threatening to steal some bones! What? What's going on? A car, you come too! Oh shit, did you see her run? Did that? Alright. What's going on outside? As far as I know, this should say Akari, right? Yep. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's going on. Oh dear. Now you wait! Enough fooling around! 
So, you've come, Gym Leader. We, Team Plasma, claim this museum's Dragon Skull in the name of Pokemon Liberation. Oh dear. To show you we're serious, we'll steal right before your eyes. Okay, that... Well then, here's our smoke screen. Plasma! That's kind of stupid. Oh dear. And Lenora's gonna be pissed. Oh dear. What's going on? Kibia, did you multiply again? Oh, oh, we have to go after them! Alright, there you are. Oh no! Let's see, what kind of voice can I give Berg? A lot of people give him a flamboyant voice. And I'm kind of thinking of going along those terms, but it's like, kind of like British too with this. Good day, Lenora. Lenora, find any good fossils lately? That was, that's horrible. This is a surprise visit. Are you suffering from artist block again? Akari! This is Berg. He may not look like it, but he's Castalia City's gym leader. Hey, just looking for a change of pace. Seems hectic or something around here. What's up? What's up? Someone just walked away with an exhibit! That's what's up! Oh god, there's so many voices! <laughs> okay. Oh, hi, Akari! What's everybody doing here? Oh god! Akari, is there some kind of problem? And these two are your friends? Bianca and Sharon. Oh, I see, they're trainers. Okay then, let's split up and search. I'll head this way. Everyone, Sharon and Bianca, I want you to stay here at the museum. Berg and Akari, you two search Pinwheel Forest. Got it? G got it? <laughs> got it? Berg, you show the way. I'm counting on you, everyone. It's. Uh huh. You are Akari. Akari, is it? Are you wearing to round up some all rubbers? It doesn't really sound flamboyant, cause. Oh god. Oh, oh, Akari, take this with you. Fennel gave me this thousand machine to give you. Yes, like the favoriteness of everybody's devices is the dowsing machine. I guess the dowsing. <laughs> Um, you can use the dowsing machine to find places where items are hidden, so you can find stuff you can't even see! For now, all we need to do is protect the museum, right? Hey, wait for me! Alright. Wasn't that much, not, wasn't that long a, it's probably not even that long of an epi episode of a video, I guess. started recording at like 140 something so not even that long probably just a half hour all right let's see here oh wait first of all let's go check our new batch here <laughs> I can't help I can't help but do it like that with my horrible signature Alright, so, before we head off here, let's take a quick look at our team here. We have Shinichi the Brave Kingdra, who beat that herdier down, Takumi the Impish Lantern, Lantern who somehow managed to save the day with, her, with his Thunder Wave, Takane the Quirky Pampor, Konoha the Calm Servine, Yuichi, the hasty Piloswan, who helped us win the badge. And Shizune, the relaxed Electric, who didn't do much in this episode. <laughs> Alright, so that was Pokemon Randomized Black Parts 6. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, Pokemon Randomized Platinum Part 
14 will be up tomorrow. Hopefully, in that part, we'll go to Veilstone City and shit. Anyway, again, please leave comments down below of each of the videos discussing... And, and it could be about anything. I don't care. You know, but one important thing is that it needs to contain a top that it should contain a topic concerning it can, concerning a topic of what I can discuss during the times I play Pokemon, so I don't have to go on random tangents. Anyway, so thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys again for Pokemon Randomized Platinum Part 14 tomorrow. So, see ya.